Welcome back. In this lecture, we will understand how to use arrays in jQuery. Actually, uh, within jQuery, we use JavaScript arrays. And arrays in JavaScript are heterogeneous. So let me write down some code and then we can understand this in a better way. So I can write where data equals to and then I would say 10 India and then I am writing false and then 10.52 and then let me write alert and data let me save it so now this is the syntax of declaring a single dimensional heterogeneous arrays in JavaScript so what I mean by heterogeneous arrays heterogeneous arrays means uh, we can have multiple type of data in the same array so I have a whole number here then I have a string here then I have a boolean value and then I have a fractional value so I am using multiple type in a same array in contrast in homogeneous arrays your data must be of same type right and by just writing alert the name of your array you can display the entire content of your array so let's save this and go back to your home page refresh your page now click on the make changes see you got the result right so you have 10 India false and 10.52 now let's go back and make some changes in the code if you do not want to display the entire content and rather you are only interested in a specific index position then you can write that index position by spe specifying the square bracket and then I am saying I only want to display the data available at index number 2 so see this is index number 0 this is index number 1 and this is index number 2 so at index position 2 we have a value false so let's save it and run this code and if I click on make changes see I got the result false right so let's go back the other way of displaying array data is by using a for loop so I can apply a for loop here and I can write where i equals to 0 then i is less than data dot length and then i plus plus and here within a for loop I can write alert data of index position i so let's save it so what we are saying that we need to iterate our array right from the index position 0 and then we will display all the elements till end so whenever you write data dot length so length is a property of arrays and it means you are calculating how many elements are there in the array so whenever you write data dot length so your JavaScript is going to calculate how many elements do we have so right now we have four elements so it means we have written here i is less than four so data dot length means four so we are displaying all index positions one by one so let me save it go back to your home page refresh your page now click on make changes so we got 10 then India then false and then 10.52 this is how we can display the array contents with the help of for loop well JavaScript also provides one another way of iterating the array that is data dot for each and then within a for each we can provide a anonymous function and that function will receive one argument that is item and then here I can write alert item All right so let's save it let's understand the meaning of for each for each means uh, this function this function is going to execute for each and every item available in the array in this array we have four elements so this function is going to execute four times and when it executes first time the value 10 will be passed to this argument right and when you execute this for each second time so 
तो सेकेंड आर्गुमेंट विल बी पास ऑटोमेटिकली टू दिस आर्गुमेंट एंड देन दिस वैल्यू विल बी पास टू दिस फंक्शन एंड फाइनली दिस वैल्यू विल बी पास टू दिस फंक्शन ऑटोमेटिकली सो दिस फॉर इच फंक्शन इज गोइंग टू एग्जीक्यूट फॉर एवरी आइटम राइट एंड दिस इज हाउ वी आर डिस्प्लेइंग ऑल आइटम्स वन बाय वन सो लेट मी सेव इट go back refresh your page and then click on the make changes so see we got 10 then india then false and then 10.52 so this is the another way of iterating array elements there are two very important functions of arrays like i can say data dot push and then i can add a new element into my array so whenever you write data dot push and you are providing a argument that value will be added automatically at the end of the array after 10.52 so now let's save the document and go back and refresh your page and see we got 10 then india then false then 10.52 and we got japan also right so this is how you can add elements into the array at run time and in javascript you do not need to specify the size of your array you can add items whenever you want into your array so just call again one more push method and this time i am saying let's say australia right and this will automatically be added after the japan right so this is how you can do it and now let me let me introduce one more function which is also used very frequently and that is pop right so the push function adds a new data at the end of the array and the pop function will remove one item from the end of a array so if i say data dot pop again so every time you call a pop method you are removing one item so whenever i call the first pop 10.52 will be removed from the array when i call pop again the value false will be removed from the array and let's iterate our array after removing two elements so go back refresh your page and then click on the make changes we got 10 we got india and that's it so we have successfully removed two items from the array so in this lecture we are only introducing single dimensional arrays because we need it uh, in the remaining course so you will understand multi dimension arrays in the in this series but maybe in some other lecture